Good evening and welcome the maha political crisis playing itself out live on India today. Is Uddhav Thakre going to resign? That's the big question I'm tracking on the news track tonight. Maha Agadi stares at total collapse. Political blockbuster enters climax. Uddhav roars, says, ready to resign. More rebels to join Team Shinde. Can only a miracle save Uddhav now? Big focus on News Track. Here's a look at the headlines. We're tracking the scene. In battle, Rudhav Takre says he's resi ready to resign if Shiv Sainiks have issues with him, declares that Hindutva is part of his soul. Rebel Sena leader Eknath Shinde speaks exclusively to India today, says he has the support of 46 MLAs. Shinde claims he is not in touch with Sena or BJP leaders. As the Sena fights, Mega implosion, Sharad Pawar meets Uddhav Thakre, NCP chief, tells his party man not to interfere in Sena's internal matter. Shinde's rebellion proves to be advantage BJP. Fadnavis holds meeting with party leaders in Mumbai. Union Minister Narayan Rane says the rebellion is masterminded by the wicked intellect of Sanjay Raut. Rahul Gandhi speaks out for the first time on his ED grilling in the National Herald case. Rahul says he'll continue to fight the ED patiently with the support of Congress workers. With his government on the brink, Uddhav Thakre addressed his party and the people of Maharashtra earlier this evening. Speaking through Facebook live, Uddhav said he was ready to resign but ultimately did not step down as chief minister. He hit out at his friend turned four Eknath Shinde, asking Shinde to come to Mumbai and talk to him directly. <laughs> On Wednesday, as the rebellion in the Shiv Sena grew, reports trickled in from Mumbai indicating that Uddhav Thakre may resign by the end of the day. Just after 5 p.m., the Chief Minister went live on Facebook video to set the rumours to rest that he would not be going out without a fight. In an emotional address, Udhav said he did not seek power or position. Tagade pan jester lokayat, Congress kade pan jester lokayat, ani Shiva Sena kade nazar tumi nasal tarde pude chalna he kate ne. Mila wo power safe kai maskari karta ga. Mii sada, mii atta paren mahapali ke suda mahapur mahapur jinkla nantar abhinandan karal jato. Mujhe sada. He even said that he was all set to leave his official residence, Varsha, and shift back to the Thakre ancestral property, Matushri. On the rebellion by the Shinde Sena, Udhav said he was feeling betrayed. He also reacted to Eknath Shinde's charge that the Shiv Sena was straying from its core Hindutva ideology. The Shiv Sena and Hindutva, he don't get the Ekmekamare, Gumflele, Zolele, he shop that. Shiv Sena Kadapi, Hindutva Pasuna, and Hindutva Kadapi, Shiv Sena Pasundur, who shakatne? As Udhav dug in his heels, he made one thing clear that he would not face a no confidence motion in the assembly. Malay Ekai Mut. I From now on, Udhav is clear that he will not resign on his own. 
the Sena chief has made it obvious that he was ready to play the waiting game. The ball is now back in Eknath Shinde's court. With Sahil Joshi and team in Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today. Shinde was hoping Udhav will resign. Udhav has not done so. There's been massive drama all through the night when uh, the Sena MLAs who were ensconced in Surat were taken away to Guwahati by a spice jet charter. They were checked into Guwahati. That's where they've been. They claim to be 40 plus with, uh, with talk of more joining them, which hasn't happened so far. One MLA said he was beaten and forcibly taken away to Surat. He wanted to come back. Here's a quick look at all the drama as it unfolded from late last evening and through the day today. The Maharashtra political pot boiler is getting hotter by the minute. Day two of the Maha Agadi mutiny began with this image. 35 rebels posing together before being flown out of Surat to Guwahati. A massive show of strength by Shiv Sena leader and the man behind the rebellion, Eknath Shinde. Sending a stern message to Uddhav, rebel MLA signed papers pledging support to Shinde. As the political crisis deepened amid tight security, Shinde and rebel MLAs left their hotel in Surat for Guwahati. The MLAs were received by Assam BJP MP at the Guwahati airport. After landing, Shinde reiterated that he has got the support of over 40 MLAs. The BJP too was in overdrive. Assam Chief Minister stepped into the Maha political arena. Himanta Biswa Sarma visited the resort early morning before the arrival of Sena rebel MLAs in Guwahati. In Maharashtra, Uddhav and his Sena were firefighting. Ahead of the crucial cabinet meet, Uddhav, who was showing COVID symptoms, attended the meet virtually and declared, we will see what happens next. Uddhav, however, does not have time to wait and watch. Shiv Sena is also running out of options. शिव सेना संघर्ष करना रहा पक्ष है लड़ना रहा पक्ष हम संघर्ष करते रहेंगे ज्यादा से ज्यादा क्या होगा सत्ता जाएगी और क्या होता है ज्यादा से ज्यादा क्या होगी महाराष्ट्र की सत्ता जाएगी सत्ता वापस आ सकती है लेकिन प्रतिष्ठा होती है पार्टी की वो सबसे ऊपर है मोर अगाडी एमएलएज आर हेडेड टू गुवाहाटी टू जॉइन शिंदे एंड हिज रेबेल कैंप देयर इज नो वे आउट फॉर उद्धव ठाकरे Numbers are not in his favour and Eknath Shinde has served an ultimatum. Now, only a miracle can save him. With Polami Saha in Guwahati, Bureau Report, India Today. On the other hand, you've got Eknath Shinde, who's emerged as the man in the moment. He's now saying he has the support of 46 MLAs. Speaking exclusively to India Today, Shinde said he's committed to Bala Sahib's Hindutva ideology. The Maharashtra political pot boiler that began with India Today's news break is escalating by the minute. Shiv Sena strongman Eknath Shinde has pushed Maha Vikas Agadhi to the brink of collapse. Shinde, the rebel in the spotlight who bolstered the Sena's ranks in 2005, has now pushed the same party into its biggest ever crisis, less than half a way through its tenure. और अगर हम शिवसेना की बात करें की आपके पास थर्टी सेवन है शिवसेना के हाँ उससे ज्यादा द रेबल मिनिस्टर कैम्प सिंस अर्ली टूडे इन बीजेपी रूल असम क्लेम्स टू है सपोर्ट ऑफ फोर्टी सिक्स एम एल एस Critically, he says the number is only going to swell further. Speaking first and exclusively to India today, 
Shinde confirmed that he is not going to form a new party. The rebel leader also repeated the claim that he planned to carry forward the Bal Thakre brand of Hindutva. Shinde also claimed that he is not in touch with any party. Also, that all his options are open. All eyes are now on his next course of action. The band of rebel MLAs with Shinde includes at least eight Maharashtra ministers camping with him in a Guwahati five-star hotel. Shinde has time and again asked Uddhav to bury the hatchet with the BJP, saying that's the only way the Shiv Sena can be saved. Perceived as the most powerful leader in the party after the Thakres, Shinde's rebellious war cry is having a telling effect. As Uddhav hunkers down to save his Sarkar, all that's expected next, save for a miracle, is a finishing move by the Shinde Sena. Bureau Report, India Today. I want to go across live to Mumbai. Ashutosh Mishra joins us from there. He has a group of Shiv Sainiks who seem to be marching to Uddhav Thakre's residence. Let's listen in. The identity of Shiva Sena, these Shiv Sainiks are marching towards the Chief Minister residence with the flag. As we know that it is the battle largely for to take control over the Shiva Sena. Here the Shiv Sainik extending support for the Thakre. In Mumbai with Alok Das, I'm Ashutosh Mishra for India Today. So you've got the ground level cadre of the Shiv Sena in Mumbai supporting Uddhav Thakre. However, the MLAs seem to be on the side of Eknath Shinde. At least three dozen MLAs currently in Guwahati. They've broken away from Uddhav Thakre, majorly embarrassing this for the son of uh, Bala Sahib Thakre, who can't now seem to control his own party. Can we just listen for a moment to some of these Shiv Sainiks and see what they're saying? Across now to one of the most consummate watchers of Maharashtra politics, Rajdeep Sardesai joins us. This Maharashtra rebellion definitely uh, busting his holiday. He's in Phuket. I thought you'd be in a nice, uh, you know, beach attire enjoying the evening in Thailand. That no longer seems to be the case, Rajdeep. And you can blame not us, but the Maharashtra politicians for that. Udav Thakre, the hot money was suggesting, might resign. He said, I'll move from Varsha to Matoshri, which is his private residence, but hasn't said anything about resigning. Instead, he's wanting Eknath Shinde to come back to Maharashtra. What's your reading of the current state of play in Maharashtra? Rahul, it's clear now that uh, we are in for a long drawn out battle. This battle isn't going to end in 24 hours because I think uh, Uddhav Thakre, and I'm told this by reliable sources who just met him a short while ago, has in a sense indicated that he is actually ready to dig his heels in. Contrary to uh, what was being speculated that he might resign, even call for dissolution of the assembly, he's ready to dig his heels in because he feels that he needs to buy time. If he can buy time... No, but buy time to what end? His supporters are insisting that if they buy time out of the 34-odd MLAs of the Sena who are in Guwahati, at least a dozen will return to the fold is what he's claiming. Some are claiming even more. Now, this could be bravado. But the belief is that there are three views. One is, uh, there are three strategies. One is, tire them out in, in, in Guwahati. And as one Shiv Sena uh, MP just told me a short while ago, once they are in Mumbai, then they will see what happens. So the belief is that once they are in Mumbai, then we will come back to our original form of the street Sena. Put pressure on these MLAs through their families to return back to the fold. Remember, Uttam Thakre Rao gave an emotional pitch today, trying to suggest that this is still Bala Sahib Sena. He's fighting a tough and possibly losing battle. It could be too little, too late. But there is a belief in his supporters this evening that I clearly did not sense 24 hours ago. Their belief is out of this list of 34 
MLAs who are in Guwahati, only 12 are hardcore uh, uh, Ekta Chinde supporters. 22 of them include some who are very work close to the Thakre household, claim that they have uh, uh, ED cases against them like Pratap Satnaik and therefore they have gone to Guwahati. They are hoping that with time, those MLAs can be convinced to return to the fold. B, they are still hoping that the longer it therefore gets prolonged, the more desperate those MLAs around uh, Eknath Shinde will get. And C, and finally, the fact is that the Sena, uh, Rahul, like it or not, is still a street party. You are already seeing some signs in places like Worli in Mumbai, which are the strongholds of the Sena, where the Sena is now saying that we will not allow this government to fall. All of this, as I said, could be too little, too late. The numbers are stacked against Uddhav Thakre at the moment. That's very clear. However, because you are in power, because you have the police force, at least in Maharashtra, still with you, the hope is that if these MLAs come back from Guwahati to Maharashtra, then things can change. Now, we don't but know... But why will they come back? Why will they come back? That's the point. They are safely lodged in Guwahati. Sahil Joshi also joins us. Sahil, you're listening to what Rajdeep is saying. Uh, Udav Takre is seeming to dig in his heels, but to what end? What is the uh, Matoshri Varsha camp expecting? Where do they see this battle go from here? They don't have the numbers with them at this moment. Said. Well, you know, all the desperate attempts are being made. You know, what my sources were telling me is that e even in the morning, today, uh, you know, if you look at uh, uh, the day plan of uh, Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre, is that he first got his antigen test done, uh, which came positive. After that, at 1 o'clock, he was supposed to attend the cabinet meeting in Mantralay, which he could not because he had to attend it through video conferencing. But before that, he had a long chat with Eknath Shinde, Eknath Shinde sitting in Guwahati. What Uddhav Thakre offered him? Come here, I'll offer you chief ministership. Take, uh, uh, you know, take control of Varsha. I'll go back to Matoshri. Ekna Chinde categorically told Uddhav Thakre that the time has gone. You know, this is not a time. You should have thought about it in 2019. That, that, that makes it very clear that Ekna Chinde does not want to have this talk. Number one. Number two, uh, uh, you know, the kind of speech today Uddhav Thakre tried to make is basically to clarify certain things on uh, you know the on the allegations made by Ekna Chinde camp against him first Ekna Chinde's tweet which clearly says that he is not going to compromise on the issue of ideology for power so that means he was charging Uddhav Thakre that you compromised on the issue of uh, issue of ideology for for your own power that uh, you know he tried to tell that he did not do it deliberately it happened because the bjp the way they behaved with uh, the shiv senics and the party secondly he made it clear again and again he did not want to uh, become the chief minister it was sharat pawar who asked him to become the chief minister otherwise the mva couldn't have survived so he is trying to put everything on somebody else that he did not want to have anything it happened accidentally it just that he wanted shiv senic to become the chief minister and the same offer was made to Eknath Shinde uh, even in the morning which Eknath Shinde has already refused and more than that you know we can see clearly a BJP hand in this operation we can definitely see that otherwise Eknath Shinde and these uh, 40 odd MLAs wouldn't have been in Guwahati chief minister of Assam despite being uh, involved in uh, you know handling the uh, flood situation wouldn't have visited Hotel Redison in the VRs in the night but despite that what we can see that the BJP is completely quiet. The BJP is looking at the situation very closely. They want to understand that yes, now Eknath Chinde is firm on his stand. They did not. They do not want that Ajit Pawar episode to be repeated, and that's why they are holding their cards very closely. They are watching the situation very closely. Okay. They know that their their success is you know inch away. They just want to wait and watch and see that Eknath Chinde stands by what he has promised and get the number and then. Uh, the next is that MBA government falls. Ekna Chinde is in Guwahati. Palami Saha is in Guwahati outside the Radisson Hotel. What have these uh, MLAs been doing in Guwahati all day long? There were 40 in total. How many of them are Senics and how many are non Shiv Senics? And what's the Shinde camp telling you in Guwahati, Palami? 
Well, yes, uh, they have been lodged, uh, Rahul, inside this hotel, the Radisson Blue Hotel. Behind me, Ajay will show you the pictures of uh, uh, the premises uh, where we've been, we've been spending the entire day. They, uh, in fact, arrived here in the wee hours of uh, this morning. There's been a lot of back and forth over here uh, in terms of vehicles. Uh, the security has been tightened. They're frisking and they are, of course, uh, checking on uh, individuals who are coming in. Uh, they have uh, booked out a bulk of uh, the rooms over here as well. What we were told by our sources within the establishment here in Assam is that 89 persons are inside the hotel. That includes supporters, that includes members of the staff of uh, these MLAs as well. And 37 MLAs is what we were told were inside. But then, of course, uh, we saw that resolution which was signed by the Shinde camp and that said that there were 34 MLAs uh, who had signed that, uh, in fact, that resolution. So 31 from the Shiv Sena and three others. So that is what it appears in terms of the strength. Earlier, there was also a lot of talk earlier in the evening, Rahul that Eknath Shinde might want to put forth his response to what Uddhav Thakre said on that uh, social media live. But then, of course, we were told that there is no such press conference, uh, there is no such a response or media uh, response that he's going to make. So Eknath Shinde is currently, of course, calculating the... Uh, his prospects and of course holding his cards extremely close to his chest as to what exactly will be his next move but uh, like Sahil was pointing out in that conversation that he had earlier with the chief minister he has categorically of course rejected the offer to become the chief minister because he uh, said that this was something that he should have thought about earlier and then of course he's got himself in a bind as well because he's very categorically stated that it is not about a, the chief ministerial position or anything of the sort it is about the alliance that the Shiv Sena has with the NCP and the Congress and they should be going back to the NDA. The critical so, question Rahul? is, what does the legal view suggest? And Sanjay Hegde joins us. Uh, Sanjay, uh, you've got a situation where it seems at this moment that more than two-thirds of the MLAs have turned against the Chief Minister. Uh, they seem to be siding Eknath Shinde, which means that without invoking the anti-defection law, they can claim that we are the real Shiv Sena, in which case the role of the Speaker and the Governor becomes critical. Uh, the governor is an appointee of the central government. How do you see the legal scenarios playing themselves out given the state of play? Let me tell you one thing, Rahul, uh, going by my experience of these matters. If, in fact, the uh, Mr. Shinde commanded two-thirds of the Sena, he would not be in Guwahati, he would have been in Bombay. The very fact that he is in Guwahati the very fact that a couple of MLAs have already defected from Gujarat itself shows that the numbers are not firm. Yes, there is great dissent within the Shiv Sena. How it sorts itself out is its internal problem. As far as the legality goes, to my mind, the best way out is for the governor to ask for a convening of the assembly and asking the chief minister to prove his majority on the floor of the assembly because there are certain consequences from that. If a chief minister is not defeated on the floor of the assembly, then he has the right to recommend dissolution. And normally the governor would be bound by such advice. So the threat of dissolution is what every incumbent chief minister or prime minister has to keep the flock together. On the other hand, the a it comes the question under the anti-defection law. There is no speaker, so there is only a deputy speaker. The, today there was a VIP issued. The VIP may have been in disobeyed by certain MLAs. If the uh, uh, deputy speaker is moved with petitions under the anti-defection uh, law, then the deputy speaker would be bound to give notice to the MLAs to come and respond. And thereafter, the deputy speaker could take the next logical step of disqualifying them or condoning the disqualification, depending on how the facts play out. So today, to make an assumption that two thirds of the party, of the legislature party mind, that has to be differentiated from the political party. If the legislature party two thirds have indeed gone away, then I think uh, there, are, there are more ways than one. And they, they themselves would request the governor 
also to convene the assembly. So okay, I've got a comment from majority. Eknath Shinde. Moments before now, he's tweeted, and I'll take our viewers through what Eknath Shinde is saying. He says, uh, the Mahavikas Agadi has only benefited the Congress and the NCP for the first two and a half years. Uh, Shinde in this tweet says, allies are getting stronger, the Shiv Sena is getting systematically corrupt and weaker. Shinde says, it is important to get out of this unnatural alliance for survival of the Shiv Sena. Uh, Shinde is saying the decision has to be taken now in the interest of Maharashtra. Rajdeep, what is he hitting out at? Like, what is he aiming for? Because in all of what he's saying, he's saying I'm a Senek. There's no mention of the BJP. He seems to want to suggest that uh, Udav Takre join hands with the BJP, which Udav clearly doesn't want to. What is Eknath Shinde's endgame? No, it's very clear, uh, Rahul. He's playing on the restiveness that has existed within a large section of the Shiv Sena and indeed even some of the independent uh, MLAs and dare I say even some among the Congress who believe that this alliance has benefited a few at the expense of many. And he has played the Hindutva card. Look, it's very interesting. The rebellions within the Shiv Sena, when Chagat Bujbal rebelled in the early 90s, it was playing the card of an OBC. When Narayan Rane uh, rebelled at the end of the 90s, he rebelled claiming that the Shiv Sena had become a dynastical party. Eknath Shinde has rebelled saying that this party has forsaken the ideology of Mahasaya Thakre and the commitment to Hindutva. Now, uh, Uddhav Thakre tried to respond to that today saying, of course, we are the original party. But soon after that, uh, that Facebook live that he had, he met Sharad Pawar. And even in his speech, he uh, supported, uh, he, he sort of uh, thanked Sharad Pawar and Sonia Gandhi for the support they had given. So, Uddhav Thakre seems to be committed at the moment to the Mahavikas Sagadi. And therefore, Eknath Shinde is exploiting the restiveness, the grievances of many uh, Shiv Sena leaders who believe the party has abandoned the path of Hindutva and trying to thereby widen the flock who may join him and thereby create a kind of BJP new Shiv Sena alliance. That I am the real Shiv Sena and this mandate of 2019 was for a BJP Shiv Sena alliance, which was effectively stolen or was uh, uh, a new government was created with the betrayal of that original mandate. So, Eknath Shinde is hoping that by constantly making the point that Hindutva is what binds the BJP and Shiv Sena together, that he can in a way retain uh, a sense of uh, uh, support within the Shiv Sena. The one fear that Eknath Shinde will have and maybe Sahil will know this better, is that when these MLAs return, I repeat, when they re return from Guwahati to Mumbai, will they enjoy the same support, sympathy of the average Shiv Sainik, especially in Mumbai? I know many of them are from rural Maharashtra, some are from western Maharashtra, where they know their op opposition primarily is the NCP, so therefore they have every reason to be wary of the MBA. But what of the others when they come to Mumbai? Will they have that same control? that they seem to have. Why is it the question that Sanjay Hegde placed? If Eknath Shinde was so sure of the support of all these MLAs, why go to Guwahati? Why go from Surat to Guwahati? Clearly, the fear is that because the MBA still controls the Maharashtra government and police, once they come back, things can change and margins then can change dramatically. The okay. fact at the moment, therefore, is Eknath Shinde is playing on the restiveness and anxiety of the of the Shiv Sena MLAs and the Shiv Sena Kader over this so-called unnatural alliance with NCP Congress. Okay, I'm joined at this time by Nitin Raut. He's the Sena leader who returned from Surat to Mumbai. His wife had filed a missing persons complaint. Uh, Nitin Raut ji, swagat hai aapka India Today pe. आप हमारे दर्शकों को तसल्ली से बताइए कि क्या हुआ आपके साथ आप सूरत में थे आप एकनाथ शिंदे के कैंप में थे बताया जा रहा था कि रिबेलियन हो रहा है फिर एक आए कि हुआ कि आपको वापस आना एक्जेक्टली हुआ क्या प्लीज बताइए कैसा है हम जो सूरत के होटल पे हमारे को जो ले गए शुरू से तो हमारे को पता नहीं था कि किस ले लाए करके लेकिन वहाँ जा ले गए वहाँ भारतीय जनता पार्टी के नेते भी हम हमारे को दिखे पुलिस का तीन चार सौ लोगों का पहुंच पाटा था फिर बाद में ख्याल आया कि कुछ गड़बड़ है वहाँ भाजपा के नेते मोहित कम्बोज थे विधायक कुटे जी थे विधायक चौहान जी थे 
फिर बाद में ख्याल आया कुछ तो भी महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट गिराने का षड्यंत्र भारतीय जनता पार्टी का चालू है नहीं पर आपको कुछ तो बताया गया होगा ना जब मुंबई से सूरत गए तो क्या बात नहीं कुछ नहीं कुछ कुछ ही बताया गया नहीं हमारे जो गतनेता है शिंदे साहब हम उनके गाड़ी में थे गतनेता ने बुलाया तो आमदार का काम रहता जाने का क्योंकि हमारे पार्टी के गतनेता है गतनेता का आदेश चलता है पार्टी में हम उनके गाड़ी में बैठे चले गए बाद में सूरत जाने के बाद पता चला कि हम सूरत आए करके सर कोई ऐसे बर्नी से बैंड्रा तो नहीं गए ना मुंबई से सूरत गए मैं अपने पांच साल के बेटे को गाड़ी में बैठाता हूँ पहले उसको समझाना पड़ता है कि कहाँ जा रहे हैं और क्यों ऐसे कैसे कि मुंबई से सूरत पहुंच गए और आपको पता ही नहीं चला कहाँ जा रहे हैं पांच साल को पांच साल के बेटे को इसलिए समझ बताना पड़ता है की उसको समझ समझ नहीं सकता हो हमारे को मालूम है हमारे नेता है नेता ने बोला चलो पहले गाड़ी में बैठे उनके बंगले पर से थाना गए थाने से पालघर गए पालघर के पास कुछ तो भी विधायक जमा हो गए वहां से फिर गाड़ी आगे सूरत के रास्ते पे चले गई फिर रास्ते में जाते जाते ख्याल में आया कि कुछ गड़बड़ है गड़बड़ है फिर होटल पे पहुंचने के बाद वहां पुलिस की फौज थी इतनी फौज थी कि शायद वो पुलिस की फौज हमारे लिए रखी थी देखभाल दुरुस्त देखभाल के लिए फिर वहां हमारे ख्याल में आने के बाद हम निकलना चाहते थे हमने हम निकलने की कोशिश किया लेकिन पुलिस लोगों ने इतना अतिरिक्त किया कि हमारे को निकलने नहीं दिया फिर साढ़े बारह एक के दौरान मैं वहां से निकला हूँ जबरदस्ती वहां से निकला मैं लेकिन मैं आगे पैदल चल रहा था पुलिस मेरे पीछे पीछे चल रही थी अरे भाई मैं कोई आतंकवादी था मेरी पुलिस पीछे पीछे चल रही थी मेरा हक नहीं चलता मैं, मैं मेरे गाँव जाऊ मैं वहां से निकला मेरे पीछे साठ सत्तर पुलिस की फौज फटा जोर पास मैं नजदीक एक चौक में आया तीन साढ़े तीन का टाइम हो गया मैं अकेला वहां खड़ा हुआ रात का टाइम था ऊपर से बारिश थी मेरी हालत मेरे को मालूम कि वैसे टाइम कैसी हालत रहती थी उस टाइम में मेरे नेते से कांटेक्ट किया फोन पे मेरे गाड़ी बुलाया वो पुलिस लोगों के ख्याल में आया कि इन्होंने गाड़ी बुलाया करके फिर साढ़े तीन के दौरान मेरे को बीस पच्चीस लोग पुलिस वाले ने पकड़ा उठाया गाड़ी में लाल गलम के गाड़ी में दबा दिया वहां से मेरे को दवाखाने में ले गए सरकारी अस्पताल में मेरे को ना कोई अटैक आया ना कोई बीमारी थी ना कोई मेरी बीपी बड़ी थी ना शुगर बड़ी थी मेरे को किसने दाव खाने में लेके गए ये मेरे मेरे सामने प्रश्न खड़ा हुआ वहां जाने के बाद मेरे को शंका हो गई डॉक्टर पुलिस वाले आपस में कुछ तो भी बात कर रहे थे उनकी बातियां उनके नजर उनके वो जो बोल बच्चन रहे थे वो कुछ संशय पद मेरे को संशय संशय पद मेरे को दिखाई दे रहे थे इसलिए मेरे दिल में एक शंका हो गई कि अपने को कुछ तो भी प्रॉब्लम खड़ा करने वाले है जानबूझ के बाद में एक डॉक्टर बोलता है कि तुम्हारे को अटैक आ गया कशीन आ गया तुम्हारे को अटैक है जबरदस्ती के 20-25 लोगों ने मेरे को पकड़ा मेरे हाथ में दड़ में कुछ भी इंजेक्शन लगा दिया जबरदस्ती से जैसे जनवर को इंजेक्शन लगाते वैसे एक विधायक को इंजेक्शन लगाया गुजरात के प्रशासन ने जबरदस्ती से इंजेक्शन लगाया सर एक ये रेजोल्यूशन पास हुआ था शिंदे जी और उनके साथ जो विधायक है उसमें आपका सिग्नेचर नजर आ रहा है तीसरा नाम आपका है आप इतनी बता रहा आप सिग्नेचर का बात बाद में पूछिए पहले हॉस्पिटल में क्या हो गया इतिहास वो तो सुन लीजिए हाँ मेरे को बीस पच्चीस जने ने पकड़ा मेरा हाथ में इंजेक्शन लगाया जैसे जनवर को लगाते वैसे वो इंजेक्शन किसका था क्या था मैं बोल रहा था मेरे को कोई लगाओ मत इंजेक्शन पेशेंट फूल आदमी बोल रहा है की मेरे को कोई दवाई की जरूरत नहीं पेश औषधि की जरूरत नहीं है तो किसने मेरे को लगाया इंजेक्शन मेरा अटैंक के नाम पर कुछ भी मेरा घात का गुजरात सरकार करना चाहती थी मेरे ख्याल में आया अब बताइए सिग्नेचर का क्या है तो नहीं ये ना ये जो रेजोल्यूशन पास हुआ उस रेजोल्यूशन में जो नाम है उसमें आपका भी नाम आ रहा है नितिन देशमुख करके नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है मेरे को भी दिखाई दे रहा है लेकिन सिग्नेचर मेरी नहीं है वो आपका नहीं है देखिए ना तीसरा नंबर मेंबर ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली देसाई शिवाजी राव पहला नाम है संजय शिरस्ते सेकंड नाम है ये तीसरा नाम नितिन देशमुख का ये तो आप ही का नाम है ना सर नाम तो लिखे नाम तो मेरा ही है लेकिन सिग्नेचर मेरी नहीं है अच्छा आपके हिसाब से इस वक्त कितने ऐसे एम होंगे जो कि एक शिंदे के साथ हैं जो कि आपके हिसाब से अपनी मर्जी से नहीं है वहां पे जबरदस्ती जैसे आप कह रहे हैं पुलिस ने आपके जबरदस्ती की ऐसे कितने लोग हो सकते हैं वहां पे अभी वो कल पता चलेगा 
मेरे शरीर के और बहुत सारे होंगे तो पंद्रह सौ तो लोग सहज होंगे कि जिनके जिनको कोई पता नहीं है कोई कितने लोग पंद्रह लोग कैसे मालूम कि पंद्रह लोग हैं ऐसे वो पता चलेगा कल परसों कैसे पता चलेगा वापस आ जाएगा वापस आने का पता चलेगा ना नहीं आपको कैसे मालूम वो वापस आ रहे हैं अरे जो मेरे को मालूम है मैं वहां था मेरे से कुछ बात लो बातचीत कर रहे थे लोग ये तो पता ही चलता ना मैं वहां रहने के बाद अच्छा ये बताइए आपके हिसाब से होगा क्या नेक्स्ट उद्धव ठाकरे की सरकार बनी रहेगी या उनको वर्षा से निकल के मातुश्री जाना ही पड़ेगा आती है, जाती है सरकार आती रहेगी जाती रहेगी जो कोई विधायक कोई पार्टी में जाता है तो विधायक जाएगा जनता नहीं जाएंगी मतदार नहीं जाता पदाधिकारी नहीं जाता शिवसैनिक नहीं जाता विधायक जाएगा लेकिन वो मतदार संघ का शिवसैनिक नहीं लेके जा सकता हो शिवसेना के वोट नहीं लेके जा सकता शिवसेना का पदाधिकारी नहीं लेके जा सकता सत्ता आएगी जाएगी वो बात अलग है नहीं तो आपको लग रहा है सरकार गिर रही है गाड़ी की अरे वो बता रहे गिरेंगी या नहीं गिरेंगी वो हमारा विषय नहीं है नहीं पर शिंदे साहब ये आरोप लगाते हैं ना कि उद्धव ठाकरे किसी से मिलते नहीं है बैठे रहते अपने कमरे में उनका इंटरेस्ट नहीं है किसी से मिलने में सब देश में एक नंबर पे आए गए उद्धव ठाकरे सब देश में चलो ठीक है नहीं 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 बात करो ना जाओगे कहा पर नितिन देशमुख दट वॉज अ बिग एक्सक्लूसिव वी जस्ट हैड इज द मैन हु रैन अवे फ्रॉम सूरत We had a few tricky questions for him. You make what you will of your of his answers. He's of course smiling. He thinks he's done a great live interview. Still, stay, stay with that frame. Stay with that frame. Uh, that is the man who claims he was forcibly taken away. Sahil Joshi, you're listening to what uh, Nitin Deshmukh just told us. He says, "I didn't find out," which I find difficult to believe because. Ultimately, he sat in a car from Mumbai to Surat, and he didn't know why he was being taken there. Interpret all of what you just heard from Nitin Deshmukh. Well, you know, it is like a deja vu for me because you know the similar kind of interview I had uh, uh, you know done and uh, heard the similar kind of sentences, except uh, you know part of the Gujarat police forcibly taken to the hospital and given the injection uh, injections etc. Uh, the time when the NCP MLAs accompanied Ajit Pawar for the morning uh, swearing in in Mumbai's Raj Bhavan, the same MLAs came later and said, "What what should we do?" Ajit Pawar called us. and just took us to raj bhavan after going there we suddenly realized that this is for something else what should we do about it similarly nitin deshmukh is also trying to say the same thing and he did not come back from surat he went all the way to guwahati from guwahati when he made uh, you know you and cry about the situation finally he was sent back in a chartered flight from guwahati to nagpur as soon as he got down at the nagpur airport the first thing he spoke to media about uh, about the things how he was treated in surat and how he was kept forcibly with uh, eknath chinde but interestingly think something you know, about what will happen tomorrow were, that 15 16 mlas yes. could come back is that something that the shiv sena is counting on absolutely shiv sena is basically counting on that you know now just look at the people who are there at this point of time with eknath chinde and some more important Uh, aspect what uh, Nitin Deshmukh was trying to say. He said that the MLAs will go, but what about the Shiv Sena and the votes Shiv Sena get? That is how Shiv Sena survived all the rebellions since 1991. The only difference is that Chagan Bhujbal's rebellion was against Bala Sahib Thakre, whereas Narayan Rane, Raj Thakre, and now Eknath Chinde, all three of them have rebelled against uh, Uddhav Thakre. That is the big difference. But to come to that point of 15 MLAs, now what Rajdeep was trying to say. when these mlas will be back whenever they will be back say for an example they went tomorrow there is a no confidence motion and uh, shiv sena mlas uh, will need to be brought back to mumbai they will of course be taken into whole uh, uh, security cordon to maharashtra assembly once they reach assembly what happens is going to be the interesting part okay Because rajdeep they will have to face uddhav thakre you just heard uh, nitin deshmukh one of the dramatic persona in this entire saga what did you make of what he just said look as uh, you know it is always possible that there are mlas who are playing both sides and so but why would he play both sides does the try and make that no, make no, some sense look, of that no no there are he's not a five year old child this, no no there are mlas within this group of 34 who are claiming or at least told to the thakre we are leaving because we are worried about ed we have ed inquiries we have been promised by the bgp those ed inquiries will be immediately removed and therefore we are going with ekta chinde we are still loyal to you 
these are this is the kind of language that has been used by some of the mlas please appreciate many of these mlas are close to uh, uh, uddhav thakre or the thakre family and they are close to eknath shinde who is a genuinely emerging mass leader within the uh, shiv sena who has contacts across the sena so you have a situation where mlas have divided loyalties and they are simply looking at which way the wind is blowing my limited point to you uh, uh, rahul is simply this that yes the mlas may well only now be brought into mumbai as and when there is a vote of confidence and therefore the possibility of them uh, being allowed to escape may not be so easy with other mlas but i am told and sail can reconfirm this that there is a section of the sena which is planning tomorrow to start street agitations outside the houses of some of these mlas put pressure on their families their contacts their shakhas remember particularly in and around mumbai not so much in rural parts the shiv sena works through a strong local shakha network that network still exists mara sahib thakre and his emotional appeal may not be there with an uddhav thakre but the network is there so no, but who side and who is the network uh, siding that's the critical question ashutosh mishra is on the ground with those shiv sainiks who are marching to, towards varsha the critical question is who will the Sena workers, the karyakartas, the guys who go to the shaka, who will they support? Yashwan Deshmukh is with us from Sea Water. He's been running different scenarios, looking at the numbers. Uh, given the fact that some of these MLAs who swung away from Uddhav Thakre to the Shinde camp could potentially uh, do a reverse swing tomorrow, what are your various scenarios at this moment? How are you reading, Yashwan, the state of play? Well, you know, number game aside, uh, Rahul, I simply feel that this was uh, basically an unnatural alliance going against the mandate that was given by the people of Maharashtra. It was very much like something what we had seen in Jammu and Kashmir as the BJP and PDP alliance failing on the ideological ground altogether. So it was only a matter of time when that happens. So number aside, I think there is a. deep fault line in understanding even if mr pawar asked uh, uh, you know mr thakre to give away the chief minister post to mr shinde i doubt that is going to call the curtain that is going to solve the problem because mr shinde's problem is not that he is not the chief minister i guess the big number of shiv sena amelis their problem is they see a big problem coming up in the next couple of years when they have to go back for re-election and finding it hard to understand how their natural constituency is going to gel with the constituencies of ncp and congress voters so it's the question of basic existential crisis of shiv sena on ideological ground whether they want to evolve and look at themselves as a secular party in the future or as a party which is based in hindutva as mr thakre said in his remarks today uh, you know on facebook live so that okay. is something it, which is which is a, a critical and core critical element to what we are looking today it was only only a matter of time when that would have happened vijay krishna joins us he's a shiv sena leader the conversation that we were having about who the sainik support three dozen mla seem to be on the side of एक नाथ शिंदे आपके हिसाब से जो मूलतः शिव सैनिक है जो शाखा जाता है जो बाला साहेब ठाकरे के वक्त से सेना से जुड़ा रहा है वो किसके साथ है वो एक नाथ शिंदे के साथ है या उद्धव ठाकरे के साथ है सभी को राहुल कन्वल जी को और सभी को मेरा नमस्कार सर आज एक शिवसेना को बहुत दुखदायक है क्योंकि शिवसेना में एक एक इंटरनल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आया है अचानक हम भी हम भी ऐसा महसूस नहीं किया है कि एकनाथ शिंदे जी ऐसा बाहर जाएंगे आज मैं मैं बहुत संतुष्ट हूं कारण यह है कि हमारा मुख्यमंत्री उद्धव ठाकरे जी ने साफ साफ बताया कि वो उसको पदवी का लालच नहीं है और दूसरी बात है कि बाहर के पार्टियां जो एन के पवार जी है या कांग्रेस के लीडर्स है वो वो हमारा उद्धव साहब का लीडरशिप को मान माना है लेकिन अचानक हमारा जो हमारा जो पार्टी में जो मुख्य लीडर है उनको क्या प्रॉब्लम है अगर वो प्रॉब्लम है तो वो सीधा आके सीधा आके उद्धव ठाकरे जी से बात कर, करने का स्वतंत्र स्वतंत्र है 
लेकिन ये नहीं ये सब नहीं हुआ है आज मुझे और एक दुख दुखदायक बात है कि उन्होंने कहा है अगर मुझसे आपत्ति है मैं ये शिवसेना पदवी से जो मुख्यमंत्री पदवी से उससे भी मैं बाहर जाता हूं एक नाथ शिंदे साहब भी मुख्यमंत्री बन सकते हैं इसके बावजूद भी अगर एक रेस्पॉन्स नहीं आ रहा है तो मैं कह रहा हूं ये अच्छी तरह का वो थ्री व्हील्ड जो महाविकास आघाड़ी ऑटो ड्राइवर रहा था एक नाथ शिंदे जी एक इमेजिनेटिव जो मर्सिडिस बेंज है बीजेपी का है उसमें ड्राइवर बनना चाहता है अगर एक नाथ शिंदे जी कट्टर शिवसैनिक हो तो क्यों वाई डज यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम अबर्टन टू बीजेपी लीडरशिप मुख्यमंत्री okay. शिवसेना का ही होगा और हम ये यही मानते हैं वी वुड लाइक टू वी वुड लाइक टू री असर दट बाला साहब ठाकरे जी ने वही बताया अगर जनता के काम करना है तो जनता के पास ही जाना पड़ेगा संजय so, राउत जी बहुत सटी कहा है अगर सत्ता 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 गए तो क्या प्रॉब्लम है उदव See Rahul the BJP is not going to show its hands openly in this crisis it is providing asylum protection uh, to the MLAs trying to ensure that uh, uh, Mr Eknath Shinde's attempts to get the numbers does not falter because of some pressures from the Shiv Sena now if you see that the first perhaps first attempt to create a sense of legitimacy about this rebel group has started with the uh, Uh, Mr Bharat Gogawale being appointed as the chief whip and uh, the chair the whip by Sunil Prabhu of the Shiv Sena being rejected as uh, uh, for calling a meeting has been rejected and that means that the first attempt for legitimacy is become the second bit of legitimacy comes uh, as uh, uh, everybody has said only when the numbers come uh, crossing that 37 mark which is critical for Mr Shinde because only then there can be a legitimate demand in front of the speaker that uh, we should be identified as a separate group and we do not we do not defy uh, the anti defection law primarily because the ncp's deputy speaker uh, right now holds the cards because if mr sharad pawar is for the mva and he tells the deputy speaker that you have to uh, ensure that these people don't take to voting then it's game over for uh, mr shinde that is why mr shinde first has to get the numbers in case there is an adverse action by the deputy speaker it can go to courts the issue then eventually has a legitimate right going to the courts and challenging that the deputy speaker is not acting fair as per the constitution norms are concerned and that is why the bjp wants to protect mr shinde the fact here is which is very critical is what yashwant has also said this is not a race seeming race for power what they have done this time around that this is a ideological race that shinde is raising so it is also doubtful that all these mlas were out in the field their karyakartas are also worried that if this alliance is unnatural to uh, two years later when this goes to the polls will it gel with the congress and the ncp workers so can there be a very strong upsurge against these mlas on the ground even if they come back that that's where the emotional pull is concerned and i think what udav thakre today has done is try to present a personal side he's trying okay. to tell the mlas i am ready to step down if uh, for i've been a party for hindutva i think it's an attempt to buy time and that's where what rajdeep was saying it's an attempt to buy time weaken the mohim launched by mr shinde and wait and see that he does not get the numbers right now everybody is trying to keep their props together so i'm just the being told that uh, sanjay raut has announced that udav thakre will leave the varsha bungalow and stay at matoshri rajdeep that essentially means he's leaving the chief minister's house going back to bala saheb's house now bala saheb's house laced with symbolism it's also udav thakre's current house but what do you think is the message that udav thakre is trying to send through this uh, shifting of residence 
you know it's very interesting because in the first few months of this government when uddhav thakre was did become chief minister he didn't spend enough time in varsha which is the chief minister's official bungalow he used to still live at mathoshri and one of the criticism was that he was still sort of in a way seeing himself as a sena a chief sena pramukh and not as the chief minister of maharashtra this is all part of this emotional pitch that you know i am not the person who hankers after power i am really uh, the true heir of bala saheb who was always the remote control whoever wants to be chief minister can be this is part of the emotional pitch not so much to only attract the shiv sena mlas today who are in guwahati but the shiv sena rank and file you see this battle is yes sir no, which side is the rank and file on rajdeep your broad sense of which side the rank and file is on right now the rank and file clearly has been anxious about this alliance especially outside mumbai those who are in rural maharashtra where their principal opponents are the congress and ncp there has been a lot of disquiet within mumbai i still believe that the thakrees will command as of now the majority support in thane which is eknath chinde's bastion eknath chinde will command uh, a majority support look uddhav thakre is not bala saheb thakre if it was bala saheb thakre you could have safely said rank and file will fully stand behind the thakre family however it, there will be divided loyalties but i do believe that deep down inside most sena workers will not want to see their government toppled they would ideally like the bjp shiv sena to come no, but back but the government together, doesn't topple they, they then like are in government with the bjp so the government doesn't really topple no so therefore you see they don't want uddhav thakre to be humiliated in any form so while they would be preferring a bjp shiv sena government they don't want to see uddhav thakre humiliated and therefore i think eknath chinde's rebellion has taken even some of them by surprise the manner in which it has been done i think most journalists are also surprised by the numbers that have come with eknath chinde the general belief was 12 mlas could be firmly with him that the numbers have increased clearly suggests that the anxiety goes well below uh, beyond what most people expected now the challenge again is for eknath chinde to retain this hold while openly challenging he is openly challenging uddhav thakre let's be very clear and until now whether chagan bujbal narayan rane raj thakre whoever has challenged the thakres they've never had the majority support this time okay. ekna chinde has shown he is actually as of today as of this moment got a majority of the mlas there you with know, him in guwahati as of polemi saha in Sahil, in guwahati 34 out of 55 no as but rajdeep we are just hearing from polemi that four new mlas have reached uh, the guwahati hotel they are with chandrakant patil and amongst them polemi says is gulab rao patil yogesh kadam is that correct sail is that your information as well that more mlas have reached this yes. guwahati hotel Yes, uh, three more MLAs were supposed to reach Guwahati Hotel uh, by evening. Yogesh Kadam had already. Okay, they are speaking the right now. So I will stay with me. Let's afternoon. listen in to these new MLAs. Yes. No, Sanjay Rao. Mukhya Mantri Ata Varsha Bangla Tu. Ha. Mato Sri Var Rana Sade Nikhale Le Aahe. Moh Maya Satta Yacha Amal Ajibat Lob Nahi. I am a Ladnari Lokal. I am a Ladat Rao. And the safety Satya Cha Vijay Hui. अशा प्रकार की भूमिका है दोन ही पक्षा प्रमुख नेत्या महाविकास आघाड़ीला उद्धव ठाकरे सदर्भत ज्यादा सद्भावना व्यक्त किया शरद पवार साहब आते ना पटोले आते अशोकराव चवान आते बाला साहब थोर आते सका कमलनाथजी होते आम्मी आभारी आहो राउत साहब दुसरे मंत्री कारण का है कि आप निवेदना संगित है कि मातोश्री का रहा चलने लगे कुछ कोई बोम आया हमें नहीं है हम वर्षा पर नहीं रहना चाहते इसके लिए मुख्यमंत्री मातोश्री पर जाकर रहने वाले हैं मातोश्री अब निकले मातोश्री के लिए वो निकलेंगे और वहाँ जाके रहेंगे मुख्यमंत्री उद्धव ठाकरे जी है और रहेंगे हाउस पर फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस पर अगर मौका मिला तो हम बहुमत सिद्ध करके दिखाएंगे जर सरकार माननीय पवार साहब ने असा को सलाह दिला नहीं कि ही लड़ाई अपन शेवट पर लड़ाई की अशा प्रकार भूमिका माननीय शरद पवार साहब ने घर नॉट वॉट यू जस्ट हर्ड फ्रॉम संजय राउत बट द फैक्ट फोर न्यू एम एल एज है नाउ रीच गुवाहाटी साहिल Uh, Udav Thakre was expecting MLAs from Guwahati to come back to Mumbai here the ball seems to be swinging the other way
People who are at Varsha have now ended up well, at the Radisson Hotel, Sai. The chartered flights are in full swing from Mumbai to Guwahati, from Surat to Guwahati, and from Guwahati to uh, Nagpur as well. So, uh, you know, it's a very interesting game. But, you know, I, I just want to add one point in what Rajdeep was trying to say. Uh, he, he specifically mentioned about the numbers that when uh, earlier rebellion happened, they never could get so many uh, so many MLAs uh, on their side, whereas Ekta Chinde has managed to get it. The biggest difference between the rebel uh, rebels earlier and what happened now is that that was the time when Shiv Sena was not in power. The, the fight was not to come to power. The fight was, uh, uh, you know, for the way... Shiv Sena was being handled. There was internal party issues and that is the reason why the rebellions happened. Chakan Bujbal had problems with Manor Joshi, he, he left the Sena. Narayan Rani had problems with Uddhav Thakre, he left the Sena. Raj Thakre had problems with Uddhav Thakre, he left Sena. But here, the difference is that some other party is, you know, fueling this anger uh, amongst uh, supporters of Ekta Shinde, MLAs of Shiv Sena, that they break away from Shiv Sena, come with us and let's form the government. The problem is, whether the, you know their, their revolt is against the Uddhav Thakre government, even if it is about the Congress NCP, finally the government is of Uddhav Thakre. Uh, Ekta Chinde's tweets also are making it clear that whatever the, this government is, this is against Shiv Sena and against the interests of Shiv Senics is what he's trying to underline very clearly. And there is a hashtag also uh, beneath the tweet uh, uh, which says Hindutva. So, you know, he is trying to make it an ideological okay. fight. No, but Ekta Chinde was never known for making an ideological fight in the past. No, but what's very clear is, as of this moment, yeah. with the additional three, uh, four MLAs reaching Guwahati, the tide seems to be in favour of Ekna Chinde's camp. Now, unless there is some massive change in the picture and as uh, the Shiv Sena expects, or Udav Thakre expects that MLAs will come back from Guwahati, MLAs, more than two-thirds of the Shiv Sena MLAs in the Assembly are on the side of the rebel. And what a mess this is for Uddhav Thakre, the son of the great Bala Sahib Thakre, who couldn't keep his own flock together. He's moving now from Varsha to Matoshri, trying to appeal to the emotional sentiment of being in the house where Bala Sahib resided. But because of his inaccessibility, because of his style of functioning, he has now cut himself away from these MLAs. But the story is not done. Uddhav Thakre and Sharad Pawar, and Sharad Pawar is immensely wily, as you know, have decided they will stay on and fight. And this is your inside view to all the action in Maharashtra as it unfolds. We'll track it right here on India Today. I'm slipping into a break. More details coming up on the other side. Stay with us. Watch Amit Shah, Union Home Minister, as he addresses and awards top job and wealth creators at the Business Today Best CEO Awards, 24th June 2022, The Oberoi, New Delhi.
वॉचिंग इंडिया टुडे Yes you read that right marijuana is legal Thailand became Asia's first country to legalize marijuana ดีใจครับผมเกิดในยุคที่กัญชากระท่อมอยู่กฎหมาย But smoking away is not that easy Although people in Thailand are allowed to possess and grow marijuana there are some legal complications Possession and sale of weed is legal But if one is found smoking outside home, they will be fined or arrested. Thailand wishes to promote the medical use of marijuana. Public Health Minister Anutin Charni Virakul said, "If weed is used under the correct awareness, it is like gold, something valuable. It should be promoted." The government in Thailand wishes to create awareness rather than punishing people. The change came after the country's legalization of medicinal cannabis. But even the legalization of medicinal marijuana is huge for the country. Thailand is very strict with its anti-drug laws. For the new generation, it's a dream come true. While possession and sale of cannabis is now legal, smoking the substance outside your home could still get you arrested. Offenders could potentially be fined 25,000 baht, that's about 780 dollars, and face up to three months in jail.